Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Jade Cocoon's story of the Tamamayu. My name is Rabbit and it's really early but surprisingly not as early as I've been recording in the past week. It's 9.48 a.m. right now and I have been like the last five, six, maybe seven videos been recording at four, five, six a.m. So I have had a lot of stuff going on today. As some of you know, I just recently moved to Colorado, so I have been trying to find a full-time job that I really would like to do. I don't want to do any more work on a university, so I'm not really interested in teaching anymore. But for the time being, I am going to be doing some part-time work with a local university, which sucks, but, you know, I got to do it until I find something better. But anyway, I'm not going to rant too much about myself. Let's just dive right in and where we last left off together, we spent a little bit of time exploring the second part of the spider forest uh, because we are approaching the tree, which we're wanting to, which is a really bad idea I should preface this with, but we're wanting to, I guess, trap it because... Some people in authority in Cyrus think it's a good idea when it's probably really not a good idea at all. So specifically where we left off together, I did some poking around and playing with my minions and did a little bit of merging, I think only with Preston. I skipped recording yesterday, which I'm so sorry about. Just all this job stuff has been eating away at my free time, so I didn't have any free time in my schedule yesterday to record, which is why I'm doing it now. But I went ahead and I merged Preston with one of those emblas and I gave him Deva Vali. We looked at this right before we signed off together yesterday, or I guess two days ago. And yeah, so nothing else really changed about him and his appearance should be fine because I captured some of the rad gores and remerged so that he could gain a little bit of his normal appearance back or at least have some semblance of the original rad gore look. So now we're just going to scuttle on to where we have to be. No! I did receive a lot of your feedback that you guys were saying that you liked actually seeing the fights which is really nice, but I'm surprised because in the past I've had some people say, oh, you know, I don't really like the fights, take them out. They consume too much of the actual video space. But I personally like showing you guys what goes down in the fights. If I feel like they're taking up too much time and we're just dungeon crawling, I'll remove them, but for now, it's probably not a big deal. And we'll kill this douchebag in a normal way. I am in love with Skittle Man. I know I've been pretty loyal to using like Preston and Bieber, and for a while I was stuck on Beyonce, but I am liking SM. He's proving his value and his worth. Merging with the Rigus and the Omas, I think, are really. No! I guess that's what I get for yapping. But I think it's a really good decision and a good choice. And now that I kind of understand the whole merging process, I'm liking the way that my minions are actually looking. Um, I don't know how tough this guy is, but I'm level 11, so fuck him. Oh, maybe not fuck him. Did he just like try to back hit me? Oh, silly Patakuga. Don't you know, you have nothing on Preston. Okay, we will keep going. Oh, I forgot to also mention to you guys that I tried my hardest. I scoured this place. I scoured the first section of the spider forest as thoroughly as humanly possible, and I cannot, cannot find this other fucking chest. I have no idea where it's supposed to be, so I have an extra skeleton key, and I don't know what the fuck, what the fuck to do with it. I don't know what to fuck. What am I talking about? I'm pretty sure we all know what to fuck. It's just a matter of whether we should be fucking it. And I haven't seen this thing before. A Rashab? Whoa, that's awesome. Well, I don't want to kill this thing. And Preston, you may be a little too much man for him. We'll just get Skittle Man out here. So we caught a bunch of the yellow looking ones like this, the Squawoa Juz. I'm really bastardizing however the developers intended for that minion's name to be pronounced, but seriously. Yeah, let's just foot this guy, play a little footsie. 
I haven't so far been that impressed with these little like worm minions. We saw a couple of them back in the beetle forest. Uh, there was a squoot and we also saw, I don't remember what the other one is called, but they weren't very good. I had originally merged Beyonce with one of them and it just made her really ugly and I don't feel like it contributed to her stats that much, but I mean maybe this one will be pretty good. I'll check him out. I will check him out in a little bit, but let's capture like two of these assholes. Because who knows, maybe I'll end up loving him a lot. This game is so complicated, I swear. But now that I feel like I'm starting to get a grasp on it, it's becoming much more rewarding than initially when I was undertaking this. I was like, oh my gosh, this is so overwhelming. I am, just as a little side update, I am planning on starting another side LP project. Yes, I do still have The Legend of Dragoon going on, but Andrew and I have not been recording as much as we should, and I still need to edit some stuff, which is really bad. Let me capture this thing. But I do plan to start, oh, a dog will chew. Hmm, I guess Skittle Man's the man for the job then. But yeah, so I am planning on starting just another little easy, fun side project for me since the husband-wife side project has kind of taken a little bit of a backseat. But I guess it's been something that was predicted because, you know, he's starting uni next week. He'll be, um, can I do it again? Yes. Fuck this dog will chew. But he's just been doing a lot of stuff with his TA position and next week he actually starts classes and as I've already mentioned I'm going to start yeah I'll kill this asshole I'm going to be starting my job well I don't even want to call it that because I don't intend to stay here which is that really bad of me to take a job and then still have intentions of finding something better I don't know and maybe this sounds really bad I like the university setting, you know, I did that shit for the last couple of years when I was a GA in Arkansas. You know, I loved working in the health clinic and I liked doing research, but holy shit, guys, that is an interesting demographic, I have to say, especially doing health and I was forced to do tobacco and then like sexual health, which I am no prude and I'm definitely not conservative, but... You know, there are only so many ways you can really help certain people, and there's just a lot of stuff that I felt like conflicted with me morally, and it was just a strain on my nerves. But it was a good experience, and I value the time that I, I spent at the university, and I loved my boss. You know, she was really nice, and I liked the people that I worked with for the most part. There were some assholes, and perhaps I'm just looking back on it more fondly than it actually was, but... You know, the job really wasn't too bad, and hopefully this one won't be either. It's not going to be a full-time thing. Uh, it's like 25 hours a week, and I'm just going to be doing a lot of, or I shouldn't even say a lot of, because it's not like I'm doing the planning, but I'm going to be involved in some of the events going on on the campus, and starting this Friday, I'm doing the back-to-school stuff. So I'm going to be working with a vendor, and we're going to try to generate like student interest in whatever product they're wanting to peddle to the kids, basically. And I know I'm backtracking, but I can't remember if I took this path earlier. I probably did. Yeah, there was probably a tablet there. Ugh. QQ, I don't know where the last little treasure chest is supposed to be. No, yeah. All right, I'm just gonna kill this asshole. I have no intention of capturing this one. Already caught two of you. Or maybe I can capture him, I guess, what the hell. But yeah, so I am going to be taking the part-time jab. Well, yeah, 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 I'll just do it this way. So that should be interesting, and I'm sure I'll have many stories to share with you guys about how I'm either going to really like this or really hate it. And ideally, I don't have, like, a dream job. You know, my master's is in health education, which... I do like health. I mean, I've been doing nutrition, sex, and tobacco stuff for like six years now, but I think I'm just ready for some sort of change. And ultimately, as lame as this might sound, I just want to be, I just want to be a housewife and a mama, which is really 
interesting. And a lot of people are often like, really? That's what you want to do? But yes, it is what I want to do. So fault me if you must, but that is my ultimate dream. Although Andrew is like not interested in having a family anytime soon, so. I guess, you know, it is what it is. And holy shit, I've been like telling you guys my life story for the last maybe eight minutes now. <laughs> My apologies, guys. We will focus on the game. But I just thought I'd update you and let you know what's going on. Okay, so... I don't think I missed anything up here, right? Or maybe I did. What's up here? Guys, did I miss this? Oh, no, okay. I have been up here. Ha ha. That's what I get for taking a break for two days and cutting myself off kind of in the middle. All right, so now we're gonna continue where we saw those emblas. Jeez, what is with these things appearing? We'll go the long way. Come on, Levy. Can I go back this way? That might be a path. Can I? Oh, no. The game just likes torturing me, I see. All right, so let's keep moving. I'm pretty sure we're rapidly approaching the tree. Hey! There are no emblas. What the fuck? Weird. Hey, there's someone. It might be the same thing. It might be a different critter. Let's see. Ooh, a Marian. So it's the Earth version of the embla, which I'll take it. I really don't want to kill these things, so... Well, dang it! Now I kind of want to, like, check everything out before progressing, but I should have done this maybe yesterday or off-camera. Oh, well. Oh, shit! Preston does not fuck around. I really don't want these things to die! I wonder if Levant is going to hit them too hard. I hope not, but I just want to get them in the red. But I've noticed, and I don't know if this is a pro tip, or maybe you guys, if you have played this, you're already aware. If you go back to, like, the Beetle Forest and you're looking at the minions that are, like, level 1, 2, 3, or something around that range, you don't have to get them in the red to capture them. You can actually capture them with just, like, pretty much full health. I haven't tried it with them not sustaining any damage, but I have hit them maybe like once or twice and got them to where they still have like 70%, 60% of their HP, and I was able to capture them with not a problem. So just thought I would let you guys know that and throw that out there. But when I first encounter them, and when you first encounter them, it is probably to your advantage to just go ahead and try and get them to have the red meter in their health bar. One thing that I have to kind of, as an aside, I know my mind is just jumping around. I have so many things on my mind right now, but something that I really do like that I've been witnessing in this game is how as you progress and as your capture level goes up, your flute playing, the sound actually changes or the tune that you play changes slightly. So I've really been liking the way that that kind of alters. And in addition to that, the fact that you can see the different weapons that you equip to Levant, I think that's a really nice touch. I'm really wondering also if I'm going to play maybe the second game for you guys. I did honestly love the sequel more than this one. I mean, wait, why did the other guy, did he die or did he just run away? What the fuck was that all about? That asshole monster seriously, like, left? Well, I can't leave it as this. I have to have at least two, guys. Maybe more will appear over here? No, why? This game it can't be serious. I have to have at least, whoa. Can I run back that way? No, I can't. I don't wanna like go up there and then that be it. I want to capture another one of those fuckwits, so. I will be right back. Let me pause the game. I'm going to exit with the hunter's earring and come back and see if I can find another Marion. So be right back, guys. Okay, guys, welcome back. I was able to capture two more of those Marions. So I'm a happy camper, and now we will continue. 
I can't believe I can't go over there. This game is torturing me, I swear. I don't know where the hell that stupid chest could be. But anyway, it looks like we made it. Time to imprison the tree, I guess. I can't believe Levant's actually doing this. This is such a horrible, horrible idea. It. Did I actually do anything? Oh, maybe it automatically just responded to the presence of the divine tree? Hmm. Oh, God. Everything looks kind of dismal now. Hey, 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 what? What, what do you think you're doing? Well, you know, you're no angel yourself, Toto Yamu. But yeah, this is not looking good. At all. The torment for the flesh. Our mouths are cursed with bitterness. Our hands are quick to spill blood. Our path is ruined and misery. Oh, shit. Jibara's men came and took Mother Garai away. Why did they take her away? What do they mean by a sacrifice? What did you promise at the Hall of Judgment? No! I beg you, please save Mother Garai. Fuck! Well, I was not expecting this to be the outcome. What happened in the forest? Did you really imprison the Divine Tree? That trembling, the forest, it's weeping. We should prepare for the worst. Oh man. Look, bitch, I just want to give you my cocoons. Our... Okay, this is probably a pretty good point to stop. I don't want to make you guys sit through another two plus minutes of me deciding what I want to do with my new minions and I know I have to do something with them because I don't have that much space or Mabu bitches at me and is like you have to do something with them so anyway we will cut the video right here guys so when we come back together we're going to hopefully be able to save Mother Garai from Jabara and all of her little bitches who for some reason have had something against her from the very start of this game so thank you so much for watching I'm your host Rabbit and I'll see you in just one second.